Hello and welcome from the Bristly Stranger. We have come to look at some of the preview cinematics for Necromunda. I've already pre-ordered the game. I have been looking forward to this for a long time. The video that's playing in the background now is actually the original trailer. It came out a long time ago. The game was due to come out last summer, so summer 2019. It is definitely coming, a lot of us didn't believe it would be. And to prove that, they have not only put it up for pre-order, but also released a new trailer. So we're going to be having a look at that. I'm not going to talk about it, we're just going to watch it through to the end. And then I have got some things to say. The Hive Cities of Necromunda. Untold billions crammed within mountains of metal. Vast insect mounds of tireless industry amid the toxic waste of their own manufacture. Inside the Hive Cities, every breath of air, every drop of water is recycled a million times over. Every watt of power and each mouthful of food must be guarded against rival clans and outlaws. It is a place where only the strong can endure and no one prospers. Except, of course, those at the very top. And yet, opportunity still exists. For the gang bold enough to take it. In the foundation layers of the Underhive, all manner of treasures can still be found. Lost, forgotten, or abandoned in the dark. The only question is, who will get there first? So, as trailers go, it is fairly badass. It does show us a bit about the game. We've got some melee combat, we're going to go in for hack and slash. But the main focus is going to be shooting. And I think this video, oh, some awesome shooting shots in there. Gunfights, special weapons, big guns, oh, I can't wait. I know for a fact that we have got three different factions. There are six in the full game, plus the extra ones that have come out recently. So the ones in the game are going to be House Goliath. They're the big burly boys club. House Escher. They're the girls. Vicious, stealthy, lots of poison weapons. And House Orlock, the House of Iron. And it's nice to see that they've got male and female gang members. That is something that Games Workshop have only brought in just recently. The first batch of Orlock models, it was only guys. Bit of a shame. They are releasing new bits and pieces. House Goliath and House Escher have got some new bits coming. And House Orlock are next. I am a House Orlock player, so I'm really keen to see what they are. I imagine the other houses... Vansar, Delac, and Cordor, they're going to be DLC. When they're done, we can get them. There is also Gene Stealer Cult, Chaos Cults, with a sub-faction of Corpse Grinder Cult. And of course, there is also the Enforcers. Hopefully, we will see all of those in the game. I think on the re-release of the tabletop version of Necromunda, Games Workshop really have stuffed loads of extra stuff in there. Bounty Hunters, Hired Guns, loads and loads. In the trailer, we also saw some guys abseiling down a wall. So I am wondering if this is going to be a stealth element in the game. I am hoping so. Would be nice to see bits of that. At the very start of the video, it showed the hive from the outside. I can't imagine that we will be seeing much of that. Most of it is going to take place inside the hive. But it is a massive, massive place. The Underhive, bigger than any city known to man. People are crammed in there like nothing else. And like it's said in the trailers, every drop of water, every morsel of food, it's fought over and ferociously guarded. 
I was thinking about maybe doing a law series, doing a couple of videos on what a hive is, because obviously Necromunda is a hive world. The tabletop version takes place in the Primus hive. And I was thinking maybe of doing some lore into the hive itself and the various gangs. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is there anything you want to particularly know about? I think if I do do it, the first one will just be about the hive itself, because there is a lot of information. But yeah, let me know what you think. I've already pre-ordered the game, and as soon as it's out, I'm obviously going to be doing videos on it as soon as I can. I've waited for this a long time. If it is just an upgraded version of more time, I'll be more than happy with that. But I heard they are taking it in a different direction. There is a campaign, there is co-op mode, there is also a four-player versus. So I think you can go against AI as well in that, and real players. Lots and lots of good features. I think I won't ramble about it too much more. We'll just wrap it up here. You know what to do. Any support for the channel really does help us out. But for now, I've been the Bristly Stranger. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we'll see you next time.